University of Alabama is feeling the burn. The Crimson Tide is hiring the highly regarded Wildcats athletic director away from Arizona. Good evening and thanks for joining us. I'm Guy Ashley. And I'm Stella Inger. Sports Director Jason Barr joins us now with more on this big loss off the field. Jason, everyone's talking about this. And good evening. Yes, they are. Stella Guy, Greg Bird was a mover and shaker, but now it's him, the athletic director that's moving to Alabama. He inherits college football's biggest powerhouse, definitely from a revenue generating perspective. Uh, Bird was known for overseeing renovations to McHale Center and Arizona Stadium. He hit home runs with his hiring of coaches, and he adapted well to change with his use of social media. Byrne was in Tucson for nearly seven years. He returns to the SEC, where he was once athletic director of Mississippi State. He says in a statement, the last seven years has been a wonderful experience for me and my entire family. We truly appreciate it, President Hart, our student athletes, coaches, staff, and friends. Because of the unbelievable support of all those who make up the Arizona family, Tucson and the University of Arizona will always hold a special place in our hearts. Erica Hansen Barnes will take over. She's been the associate. She'll be the interim athletic director. Barnes is a former softball player at the U of A who helped the Wildcats win the 2001 Women's College World Series. All right, some of Burns' hiring of coaches that have worked out well. Jay Johnson in baseball, Tony Amato in soccer, and yes, Rich Rodriguez did take the Wildcats to four straight bowl games before the team struggled this year. Stella. Jason, thank you. I'm back on the U of A campus. Students were shocked to hear this news. Nine on your sides, Priscilla Casper has more on what students think about Byrne leaving the Cats. The news of Greg Byrne leaving the University of Arizona's athletic department to head to Alabama spread throughout the campus. A lot of my friends who are really into sports are pretty shocked about it, and it came as a surprise to them. Now, senior associate director Erica Hansen Barnes steps up as interim athletic director as the department searches for a replacement. We knew that you know what he's done here is has been incredible and and. We, he's, done, he's done a lot of great things for us. Um, and so we knew anytime there was a, a Power Five position open, his name was going to be on that list for, for good reason. Um, and we wanted, you know, we wish him the best. We want to uh, renovate all of Arizona Stadium like we've talked about so we can continue to improve the infrastructure and the experience our fans have. Byrne was instrumental in the $72 million Lowell Stevens football facility, the $80 million renovation of the McHale Center, and relocated the baseball program to High Corbett Field, leading them to the 2012 College World Series championship. Good for him. He's a... Uh... I don't know, he's going to the best athletic department in the w world, right? So uh, he gets to work with Nick Saban, gets to work with uh, really good coaches, really good staff. And I mean, he's leaving a good thing, but he's going to a, a really good thing as well. So I guess I'm just happy for him. Maybe this would be a good thing for like our football team and like our, but for basketball, who knows? I think that we have like a really good um, team as of now, besides the injuries that we've had. But um, I mean, I guess we'll have to wait and see. According to USA Today, since 2010 to 2015, total revenue for the department has gone up nearly $30 million. Priscilla Casper, KGA 9, on your side.